And also tonight, even CNN deeply concerned about our economy under Joe Biden. Look at this headline, and we're quoting here. The world may be careening toward a 1970s style energy crisis or worse. Again, CNN. Now, Joe Biden planning a trip to the Middle East, as I just mentioned, to beg Saudi Arabia for more oil. According to Joe, there's just nothing else that can be done to increase supply and bring down prices. But as one economist on CNBC explained, that's not really accurate. Watch. One of the biggest drivers of, of this surge in inflation in recent months has been energy. And there are concrete steps that the administration could be taking today to start bringing down some of the, the, the mid medium to longer run pressure on, on energy prices by increasing permitting, increasing leasing. Heck, if they really wanted to bring down some near-term price pressure, uh, they could be issuing some Jones Act waivers. But we're not seeing them do that because it's evidently politically untenable. Yeah, you're talking base. about the, the rule about shipping, why, why basically refiners in Houston are going to sell their oil to the Rotterdam, Netherlands, rather than New Jersey, because these these weird shipping regulations. Uh, so there are concrete steps. I see. Joining us now with reaction is former energy secretary and former Texas governor Rick Perry, who knows a lot about this issue. Governor, secretary, thanks so much for being here tonight. Concrete steps that could be taken are available, yet they will not and cannot do it in the White House. Why? Well, I think you heard the uh, reasoning in the uh, earlier section when you talked about the uh, uh, the Green New Deal. They believe in this. I mean, they believe that $6 gas will stop people from using gasoline, and all it's doing is killing the middle and lower class in this country. I went to a uh, recycling uh, facility over in Fayette County, Texas today, Pete, and, and a guy just started in, he said, look, he said, and this is a, this is a guy who's working, uh, you know, eight, 10 hours a day, putting in lots of uh, hours and not making much wages. And he's going to the grocery store and he's going to the uh, uh, gas pump and he's having to make a difference. Literally he said this, he said, I got to fill up half of my tank in my truck uh, because I got to buy food for my family. And he said, you know what, I'm about to believe the only people in this country that are Democrats are the rich. He said, because us poor folks, we're done with them. And I think that was a, a, a real statement about what's happening in this country. Joe Biden and all his rich friends, uh, all of that woke left, uh, that they don't care about $6 gasoline. They think that's a great thing. But it's killing America. And you heard a little earlier that November is going to be a moment of reckoning in this country, and it should be. Uh, we could be making some changes at the federal government. They know how to do this. They know that you get the permitting process eased up. You open up those oil fields back up in uh, Alaska. You get our offshore leasing going. You send the message to the oil and gas. I know wildcatters, and if they think that they can make a buck out there, they're going to go risk their capital and do what it th takes. And they're not seeing that today. They're hearing it from the uh, the ESG crowd at the at the uh, you know with the with the corporate entities of oh you know we don't like fossil fuels. Speaking of fossil fuels, I want to end up with this. There is a great new book that's out this week. It's called Fossil Future by Alex Epstein. I highly recommend people go get a copy of this and read it because it makes the case about. If you care about the future of this world, you better care about fossil fuels and the use of those, not only to keep America safe from a national security standpoint, but also if you're going to bring people out of poverty around the world, literally billions of people are counting on fossil fuels to do it. You either hate these people and don't care if they die, or you need to get on the fossil fuel bandwagon. Well, I want to dig into that, Governor, because about the idea of intentionality that they know it's going to hurt. They, they almost, they, they want it to hurt. Because if it's $6 a gallon, six fifty seven bucks, they're forcing people to be not just pinched, but squeezed and then change their livelihoods. Less driving, less consumption, less meat. How would, how do you rational, I mean, is it really, is it really as simple as, and, and, and I grapple with this myself, they're so obsessed with climate change and this, this, this religion of theirs that they're willing to bring this economic pain in the short term, knowing in the long term they get the control they want. Yeah, they, they think they can drive people to the renewable side of things. And listen, one of the things that we know, Pete, is that, look, 
All of the above is great. We moved big into the wind energy back in the early 2000s in Texas. It was a good thing, uh, but it's not <laughs> to take over fossil fuels. I mean, you need all of the above. You need nuclear. I mean, if we don't get the nuclear energy going mm -hmm. in this country and around the world, we're done. You can't do it with just wind and solar. All you're going to do is have blackouts, and then you're going to really find out what pain. Which about. we're headed for. Which we're headed for. All of the above is an earnest attempt, a competitive environment that says whatever works the best is going to rise to the top. Pressing one in particular and, and making people feel pain, uh, th that, uh, that's ideological. And, and that's why they're, they're willing to do it. Governor, where does this go? Yeah. Where does this go in a year or two with people making decisions about whether to fill up a half tank? Well, November is going to be a, a big turnover. I think you're not only going to see the, uh, uh, the House of Representatives go in a big way, maybe the, the most substantial change of seats in the history of the country. And I think the same thing is going to happen right. in, in the Senate, where you've got that type of leadership change. And at that particular point in time, uh, you can send the message to the White House, hey, you're out of line, and we're going to get this country back, and we're going to get fossil fuels back to where they need to be uh, globally. That's what's going to happen. Well, Mr. Secretary, you're right. I, I look forward to reading that book. There are hundreds of years of natural resources right in our own Neither home part. soil if we were willing to unleash it. Uh, and, and they absolutely are at war with it. Rick Perry, thank yeah. you very much protect for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Use fossil fuels. Amen. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.